My name's Kim, I'm a fourth grade teacher in Michigan, and I've been using Prodigy for three years now. Two years now, sorry, two years. Um, and my, I, I can't get my students off of it. Like They just want to play it in their free time, even when I'm not assigning it to them. They want to just go on, they want to do more math problems, they want to play the game, they want to earn coins and battle and, and just hang out with their friends online. Um, it's, it's been really great and as a teacher I love the fact that I can keep um, tabs on what they're doing, how they're doing on their standards, um, align things with what I'm teaching in the class for them to do for fun, <laughs> but still keep track of what they're doing and, um, and just, just love the program altogether. The students who really are spending time on the program, um, really gaining a lot of knowledge and their scores are better, um, stands, strands that they weren't doing well on at the beginning, they keep going back and keep practicing and, and I can see their improvement. Sometimes I give them like 20 minutes in class during our math workshop time to go on. Um, sometimes they just do it for homework. If it's indoor recess, that's what they want to do. They want to go on Prodigy. Um, but I would say most kids are on it probably close to 60 minutes a week. I, I do love the differentiation. I do love that I can give my higher students more advanced challenging questions um, to keep them motivated as well as my lower learners. I can uh, make things accommodated for them and they still think they're playing the same game as everybody else. So that's, that's a really great piece too. So.